Hi everybody, it's Bishop Bryson. Hope you're having a great day. It is Wednesday, the 26th of February, 2020. Can you imagine? Hi everybody. I I am excited. I'm on travel. For those of you who have been working with me the past couple of weeks, you know that I've been on travel. So there's a lot that's going on, but I want to tell you how we made money today. We've been making money all week. So I know that the Dow has dropped a couple hundred points and I know that everybody else is panicking, but those of us who know how to trade, we never panic. For you already know, and I've already taught you that you can make money either way, going up or going down, shorting the stock or running the stock. I want you to know it has been both a bullish and a bearish season. Uh, for those of you who know how to trade, you know what to do. So get some coffee, get some tea, green tea. You see, I've got a cold green tea, little something in your throat. Come back with me. I want to share with you how we made money on this hot day, the 26th of February, 2020. Hi everybody, happy hump day, Wednesday the 26th of February, 2020. I don't know what your 2020 has been like if you're a trader, but if you've traded with us, then you've had a good 2020. We had a great January and looking to have a extraordinary once we add it up every day because one of the things that I tell the people to do is make sure that you, as a new trader, if you're a new trader, mark what you trade every day. Look at it, you have to be able to uh, size your way up and you have to be able to look back and see your mistakes. And so we ask everybody who is trading with us, we first say hi, but we tell you to make sure without a shadow of a doubt that you mark, that mark down all your trades every day. For those of you who wanna get our alerts and our alerts have been fabulous this week, then we invite you to uh, hit subscribe and we send you alerts if anything that's moving. What makes us different and what makes our alerts so spectacular, if I may say so myself, is that we just don't send them at the beginning of the day. We send them all through the day because we're on all day. So if you're just with a trader who trades one hour, two hours a day and gets off, they never send you any more alerts, then that's not us. We send you alerts throughout the day to make sure that you know as soon as the market's open, pre-market, we got, we got you, market open at the bell, and then for the rest of the day till the market closes, is four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You get our alerts. So subscribe if you want to. Now, let me just tell you what's been going on because we've been talking. I've been missing because I've been on travel. I'm in a cold city, Washington, D.C., uh, doing a lot of work. I have my Smurf hat on because it's cold and I had a head cold, but I'm feeling much better for all of you who have just been hearing me and wanted to um, uh, reached out. Thank you so much. I want to just say this to you. Uh, let me get on my chair comfortably. I want to say this to you. Um, it's been a great trade week. It's only Wednesday, Wednesday hump day, but it's been a great trade week. One of the things that happened, if you know me, I'm up at four usually every morning. On Mondays, I love to go to work where most people just, you know, hate to go. I love it because I love what I do. But one of the things that I do is I'm looking at the market and everybody say Monday morning pre-market that the Dow's dropped. It's dropped Monday and Tuesday. We already knew that. But one of the things that was important is that we already had a strategy for that. And if you never have a strategy, then you're always going to be blindsided. If the Dow drops, it doesn't necessarily affect always the NASDAQ. And a lot of the tech stocks that we trade are in NASDAQ. So uh, the small cap traders were really not affected. If you were in some of the, the great things we were in, they still had the uh, 1 million plus volume. It still met our criteria in terms of gap percentage, in terms of float. It still had all of that going on and, and it worked for us. So one of the things that happened is we were already looking prior, two weeks prior, um, around the 14th, we were looking at all these companies that were dealing with the coronavirus. And a couple of them we pinpointed that were going to move. One was CODX and one was CETX for various reasons. Those are the two stocks we knew we were going to move. Um, um, some dealt with it, some didn't. Those were the two stocks we had our eye on. Sure enough, CODX just started to take a run. Uh, on Monday, at the end of the day, it ran up from, and let me just give you, let me just give you, I think it was like 328, 328 all the way to 440 came down. And then uh, yesterday, at the end of the day, sort of consolidated, but at the end of the day, it ran up again. If you did not have your money on it, it, it closed like four something, four four, because when it opened today, it ran. And it ran from 404 all the way to 678, and it's back to 6, 642, pardon me, and it's back to 613, it's gonna run again. And so listen to what we're saying. We're sending you the alerts, we're giving you the reason, we're giving you, we're showing you how everything works together. And so be part of the team. Um, I'm just saying this because we made a lot of money on it today. That was a $2 run. Even if you feel like you got in it late, 
um, you didn't get in it a week ago like I did, then you still made $2 in one day. Now, if you had 10,000 shares of it, that's $20,000. That's all I'm saying. So it'll work for you. Also, we've been in CETX. CETX decides to run up, down. It was like at, I'm gonna say three, no, 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 it was at 150. Uh, it was at 150, jumps to 220, comes back down, but it's making a run for it today. Uh, so for if you're in CETX, stay in, uh, get your money and then get out. Also, we had a few that, that our team pulled, uh, baby stocks, um, CORV. A lot of people made money on CORV. We gave the alert for it Monday. We gave it midday and a lot of by Tuesday, it ran up, people got their money and it ran down again. Let me just say there's a gap on it. Um, I'm gonna say that starts at like 57, 58 now, might 64 now, and it's gonna go till at least 130. So if you have, if you, if you are just a new trader and you need to have a thousand shares somewhere, that would be where my thousand shares would be. Also in TNXP, they came out today and said that they are partnering with uh, someone to uh, make sure that their virus um, vaccine gets to where it gets to go. And so their stock is like, at, it was at 30 some cents closing, 35 cents. At open, it was at 80 cents and it's already gone to 123 to come down. I believe it will run some more. But I also always tell you the good part of trading. Let me tell you a bad part because once you start making money, you get a little cocky. And most people will tell you that as soon as you make money, you get a little cockier. You just think I'm good, I know everything, and you can net. But, but trading isn't like that. Most people know uh, it's usually about a 95, it's if you're excellent, 95, 90, 10, or 80, 20, most, most, most very cautious traders, and I'm not one of those, um, live, live between 70, 30. Um, I live in the, in the 85, 15 range. I win 85, and I'm gonna say 90% of the time, because uh, 90 this year has been 90. And, but part of trading is sometimes you make mistakes. Uh, one of the mistakes a lot of people made on yesterday, which was Tuesday, was they got into SPECs, S-P-E-X. S-P-E-X was a dollar. It has started running up on no information, on basically a press release. So it ran all the way up from a dollar to three something, and a lot of people got in too late. Matter of fact, when they got in, it started shorting, shorted all the way down, and it went down almost $2. I say this to say, um, don't lose your head trying to chase stuff. If it's for you, it'll come to you. The trade will come. It will be easy. You'll make more of your money. You'll go home. Don't chase it just because everybody else is in it. If you don't know how to do supernova or parabolics, then, then call somebody like me who can teach you how to trade because there's a way to even do those. I have uh, in my team, and I will say hi to Chris Albright, um, he is a great trader. He has his own method of trading. He does great, but he doesn't trade parabolics like I do. And so when the parabolics come, he just cheers me on, do it, do it, go, go, go. But he won't trade them himself. You have to find out your own niche and what works for you because what works for you doesn't necessarily work for everybody else. Now listen, that's all I have to say today. That's my recap on this Wednesday hump day. Get ready for tomorrow. Uh, join us. Uh, Tomorrow we'll be on live, I think, and uh, uh, get ready for us to walk out on the 28th of Friday and call February one of our best months ever. Listen, see you tomorrow. Uh, subscribe if you want our alerts. We'll be glad to give them to you. See you then.